In this episode, an easy to configure overlay to show latest subs, cheers, follows, donations and raids, sharing just what you want with a font and colour of your choice. Hello and welcome to Streamer Bot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Streamer Bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. Setting this up in StreamerBot is incredibly easy. Just select the Servers Clients tab, the WebSocket Server, Auto Start and Start Server. Now comes the difficult part, to build up the URL, so a web address. Now this is built up from several parts and the easiest way to handle this is to copy from the video description below. We always start with this line here, the vrflad.com slash latest latest slash question mark. We can then put on what options we want in there. So what do we want in an overlay? Do you want subs, follows, cheers, raids, tips, the largest cheer or the largest tips? So we add these in, separating them each time by an ampersand character. So if we want subs, raids and tips, for example, in that specific order or subs, tips and raids, do subs and tip and raid. So this is going to tell the system, this is what you want. Then we can add in customization options of the font. So by default, it'll be a rainbow font. It's an animated one. But if you want to override that, for example, if you wanted it to be black, font call equals black, you can do that. Or if you want a specific code, like something which you would use previously, like an RGB value. So in web, web um, there's web, color websites that you can use. You might have used, um, so something purplish. So the red values are FF, which is a very high value, it's a maximum value. Zero is the, the green values, and that is the blue. Now, uh, if you look at web font, um, so web color options online, you can find out colors. These. This is how you can customize the font color. We'll leave it that, like that, for example. You can also override the, the the font. So you can look at the system fonts that you have and to override those. You can also make it bold as well. So let's leave it with the default font and we're going to put bold in there. Next one is going to be the height of the overlay. By default, it's 40 pixels, which means that the two lines of text are going to be 19 um, pixels each. And so that's going to be a particular size. Now, this might not work with the font you're using or the number of overlays you have. If you have three, you might want to consider extra large. If you have four large, if you want five or more, then keep it standard. So for example, we've got three here. We can just try the, um, the extra large. And there we are, we've built up an example URL to put into our system. Now we've got the URL built up. It's about adding the browser source into OBS. So we'd add in browser source. The name doesn't really matter. So I'm going to call it SP latest. The URL, I'm going to put in what we've created before. Note, do not select local file. Width 1920 by height 100 should cover every, every different uh, setup. And when you add that in, you'll see that it looks blank. This is normal. Until we get a raid, tip or subscriber, they will stay blank. You can test these though, and we'll do so shortly with StreamerBot. So now to test. Using the test options within StreamerBot will show up within here. So we can test a Twitch Prime sub. Let's come through, it's loaded the display picture. If we change it here, doesn't make a difference here in the sub. Resub, so two months tier two sub. You can see Flabbot's gone in there now. It's updated that. So it's dynamically changed it from latest subscribe to latest resub. If we have a gift sub, we could have four gifted subs. Sub gifter, 
PR fad. And finally, gift bomb. If you have five gift bombs, again, it says it's me. So typically, if it's more than one gift to sub, it'll be a gift bomb. So, tips is the next one we can do. Now, I can't actually show this one. So we could put in a test value here, either Streamlabs or Stream Elements. Uh, I don't have the tokens in here to test, but they all show up in the same way. Raids, let's have a look at raids then. So we're gonna test a raid of 10 viewers. You can see there it's loaded in. Now, if we wanted to change that tip, because we don't use tips, for example, to be cheers, we can easily go back to change that. You simply bring up the properties of the browser source and where we got tips, we can then select and click on OK. That's changed the dialog there. Go back to the streamer bot, we can test that. So cheers and try 100 bits from anonymous. Then we can see there it's picking up anonymous cheer as well. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Net for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.